everyone, this is Tyler Ford Keller Williams, and I'm here with Heather Tumler Rich. She is the account executive for 210 Home Warranty. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you for, we're in my office right now, but I've always wanted to do this interview because of how important getting a home warranty is, whether you're yes. the, especially when you're the buyer, but even as the seller offering out because it takes some of the liability away. But about, I don't know, that's probably been about six months ago, we had a property that we had bought. It was an investment property that we were going to fix and flip, and it had an older AC unit on it, and uh, we had Heather recommended that we get it certified. Uh, when we bought it, and it was actually working and in con good condition, but when the buyer went and bought the property, it wasn't it wasn't working um, effectively, and they found that there was a part that needed to be fixed. Well, long and short, that part couldn't be replaced. Mm -hmm. So, ten two ten actually put a brand new unit on the roof, uh, probably I don't know five six thousand dollars in terms of an expense. If I were to I've had to have done that. So the seller or the, the buyer of the property that we bought got a brand new AC and it's because we put a home warranty in place. So, and Heather, Heather was a big part of getting that done. So thank well, thanks. you. Thanks, yeah. It was a good hoorah for, for all <laughs> uh, of us. Absolutely. <laughs> so talk a little bit about how important, like whenever I, whenever I represent a buyer or seller, um, especially a buyer. I mean, it's really important and in the contract always write that there's a home warranty asking the seller to pay. We don't always get that. Right. If they don't pay for it, I always recommend still getting it. But just talk a little bit sure. about how important it is. Sure. This is my home service agreement. And so ultimately a home warranty protects the major systems and appliances of the home uh, due to a breakdown of normal wear and tear. So like Tyler said, we have coverage for the seller and then coverage for the buyer. Uh, for the buyer plan, it is definitely more inclusive and we really offset the liability to the new buyer because they don't know the working condition of the, the systems and appliances. Mm -hmm. uh, so our coverage will cover the air conditioning, heating, electrical, plumbing, garage door openers, appliances, uh, even lock key, subterranean termite spot treatment, washer and dryer, the list seems like it goes on and on. We have a lot of inclusive coverage with 210 Home Buyers Warranty. But ultimately the intent is so that the homeowner doesn't have to really pay a whole lot of money out of their pocket. There's a $60 deductible, which is the driving fee to the service provider mm -hmm. to have them come out. And uh, so we diagnose it, and as long as it's an, a breakdown of normal wear and tear, then it would be repaired first, and if we can't repair it, then we replace it. Absolutely, we paid $60 to get a brand yeah. new. That's it's, great. It was an HVAC, so heating and cooling in one. So for $60, we got a brand new unit. Yeah, yeah. And for the seller, too, we have more limited coverage, but it's a gift for the seller, basically saying mm -hmm. if you include our plan for the buyer, because studies show homes sell faster when a buyer plan is purchased for the buyer, because the buyer obviously doesn't know uh, the, the history of the systems and appliances. We do have coverage up to $6,000 for our seller, too, for uh, electrical, plumbing, appliances. They can also, uh, for an extra cost, they can get some air conditioning coverage, too. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the, the AC being in Arizona when it's mm -hmm. hot. I mean, the AC is always the, the big question. Yeah. And if agents, I mean, I think a lot of times agents don't know this uh, in terms of how to properly do it, because if a unit's not certified, it can cause some problems. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and I've learned this lesson the hard way. So, you know, when you're representing the, the buyer, you always want to make sure that the unit's certified. So if something goes wrong, it's covered. So talk a little bit about yeah, that because that, that's, that's a step to. that's actually missed. I would love to. Yeah, and this all comes down to this page right here, which is the terms and conditions of any home warranty company. We always We all say regarding the... Uh, working condition of the system it all has to be in good and safe working order in, in order for this home warranty to work properly for the, the homeowners or for the seller or for the buyer well, so and, we'll, just, and that's also to protect you Tim because there's always people that right. want to try to you know oh yes yes trick the system and uh, yeah. so I mean I, I get why that's to be done if we didn't have limitations then we'd be a home rehab company and then we wouldn't be in business exactly. so. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll put this uh, flyer up on the, the link where this video is going to go so you can read through that but anyway yeah, the biggest 
the biggest failure and the most expensive failure is air conditioning. Mm -hmm. And so we found that uh, we wanted to be the only home warranty company that came forward with a program to help protect all parties involved in the transaction, whether it's the seller side or the buyer side. And so what this is, is it's ultimately regarding air conditioning mm -hmm. and it's called an HVAC certification or an HVAC inspection, if you will. And so what we do is we send out a company to do a 59 point inspection, thorough inspection to just make sure that all is in good and safe working order. Uh, we need our inspectors, they're very important, but if they're not a licensed HVAC professional, they're not allowed to open up the system and, and look in like an HVAC professional would, so that's why we needed this. Well, and the other, as, as the buyer's agent, it's really important to do this too, because when you're negotiating the repairs, yeah. it's not covered <laughs> under the home warranty unless mm -hmm. it's working. So we exactly. just had one where the coils were dirty and it needed about a thousand dollars worth of work. Yeah. Well, the home warranty is no good unless the seller would have done all that stuff. Right. So we were able to negotiate to get everything done. So we had a unit that was actually certified so the home warranty would cover it. So there's a lot of cool things as to why, you know, to put a home warranty in the contract because when it comes inspection time and asking for those repairs, it's an easier way yeah. to get things done. So yeah. Yeah. anyway, we wanted to keep this short and sweet. I just <laughs> wanted to bring Heather in here. I'm going to link her. Uh, she's got a service agreement right here and I'll link it down below on this uh, video. So if you're a buyer, you definitely want a home warranty and as a seller, it's nice to put one in place to say you're covered uh, during the, the sales process. And, uh, and call me yeah. if you have any questions and you wanna know about how it works. I've been doing this for six years here in our area and uh, we've just had just great success, very robust coverage. So. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure that my homeowners are happy, whether they're sellers and or buyers. She's great. She's always always available. And if there's something that – over the weekend, I had a client that her fridge went out, and Heather was on top of it and got it done. So, anyway, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, get a home warranty. Thank you.